today I am going to explain you in a series of lectures, uh, small lectures about some of the very important topics which every uh, individual should know because they are the common condition prevailing um, in our society and in our culture and they are often misunderstand, often treated very harshly in the society. And one of such condition is addiction. Um, the first I would like to explain you what is addiction because often this condition um, is misrepresented and treated as a bad choices. Addiction is a disease, is a medical condition. Um, for a layman, people think that if I do something like a drinking coffee or if I am smoking cigarette, I am addicted to it. That is a layman term. The medical term of addiction is totally different. It's a, uh, it's a medical condition and the prerequisite of that condition is implies that the person uh, lose control. For example, a person drink coffee and he has a certain number of coffee which he drinks every day. For example, he drinks two cup of a coffee. That's not addiction. Though still he will go into withdrawal if he stops suddenly drinking coffee but once he lose control, for example, he drink X number of coffee and he, he cannot control himself, he keep on drinking in spite of harm. So now that this person in, is entering into a condition called addiction. So the term addiction is essentially defined, number one is that a person lose control. Second compulsive use that is the person keep on using the, the medicine, the drug or whatever the substance in spite of harm and the third is negative emotional effect and what that implies is that the person when he does not have access to that substance or a drug or anything he has an emotional effect, he has a bad effect, he has a negative effect he has a craving, he has a desire and often he can do things to achieve that substance sometime even harmful activity, sometime uh, crime uh, uh, and, and many other such activities. So it is important to understand that addiction is a disease, is a disease of the central nervous system which the person is going through. He may started as a bad choice but now he is suffering from, from a medical condition like a person is suffering from diabetes. We cannot just say that the person is diabetic because he is eating too much sugar and he should not do that, he was not doing enough exercise, he is obese, he, he was lazy but now he has a diabetes, it is a totally different ball game, totally different condition. Once the person enter into the phase of diabetes, he should be treated as diabetes not a person as a bad choice. So it is very important to understand when the person is addicted, he, he has a medical condition called addiction and he should be treated as he is a addiction. Often this condition is permanent and has an exacerbation and remission that he, he means sometimes it is more and sometimes it is less. So it is very important to give due respect that the person is suffering from a disease, not just merely a bad choices at this point. Uh, in the second lecture, we will um, talk about the difference between addiction and dependence.